it's me, Haley, with a tag, a really fun, simple book tag, and it's called the How I Read tag. There are eight questions, and I'm gonna answer them for you right now. So here it is, yeah! The first question is, how do you find out about new books to read? So the internet is a huge source of information for me, like when I'm trying to figure out new books to read. Booktube is something huge. Tumblr. Um, Tumblr got me to read Delirium. I don't know if it was a good thing that Tumblr got me to read Delirium. Tumblr got me to read The Maze Runner. And uh, yeah, Tumblr gets me to read a lot of books. Booktube definitely is a huge one. So I'd say Booktube or my friends. A lot of them give me book recommendations and Goodreads also. There's like a little option on the app, on the website too, but it's easier on the app. And it's like recommended books and I just click on it and it gives me all of these book recommendations and it's, it's, it's awesome. Am I talking really fast? I think I'm talking super fast. I am sorry. I'm going to slow down. Just take a deep breath. <laughs> I don't know why I'm talking so fast. I think it's because I'm scared my camera's gonna run out of memory slash battery and or all of the above. All right, so let's move on. Question number two is how did you get into reading? So I like, I, I'd like to think that I've always been a super big reader. I mean, I kind of have. I was really far ahead in my preschool class. I read all of the Winnie the Pooh books. And I was a pro at that. I guess when I really got into reading is ready for a super cliche book. The Hunger Games really got me into the YA section of reading. I read The Hunger Games in eighth grade, but I guess before that I loved reading Judy B. Jones. I loved reading, I think it was called Dear Dumb Diary, um, and I read a lot of Roald Dahl books. Matilda was my favorite book when I was younger. Matilda, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. Um, I was in book clubs in school. I don't know, I guess I've always really been a reader, but like um, when I was kind of going into the teen, tween stage, like um, fifth, sixth, seventh grade, I didn't really read that much. I guess I took three years off from reading because it was so tiring being such an advanced reader, reading those Winnie the Pooh books in preschool ahead of everybody else. Question number three is how has your taste in books changed since you've gotten older? The <laughs> The book taste that I've acquired has definitely matured. Oh, I got Okay, so when I was younger, I used to read a lot of comedy books. Like, Junie B. Jones is comedy. My Dumb Diary is comedy. I read Diary from a Kid. But basically, the biggest change is I used to read a lot of comedy books when I was younger. And now I don't really read comedy books. I don't know. I don't, I don't know. I, maybe I just haven't really found the right one. So, you know what? If you have any awesome comedy books that made you laugh, made you chuckle, just leave them down below and I'll be sure to check them out. Question number four is, how often do you buy books? And honestly, I really don't buy books that often. Two reasons. One, I don't have a car, so I can't go to Barnes & Noble whenever I want. Oh, maybe three reasons. Number two and three kind of go together. Two, I don't have a job, so I don't have money a lot. My only job is babysitting. And number three is I don't have a debit card or credit card, so I can't just buy things online and just have them shipped to my house. So there's that. I suppose I go once a month whenever I've got that spare 20 bucks and me and my friends are just headed down to Barnes & Noble. But I think me going out to buy books is going to lessen even more so because the Barnes & Noble that's around 10 to 15 minutes away from my house is getting demolished or being closed and it makes me cry myself to sleep at night because now I've got to drive like 20 minutes to the nearest Barnes & Noble. 20 to 25 minutes, that's far, okay? And it's with traffic, so, so half an hour, maybe. Probably not, I'm exaggerating, okay? Question number five is, how did you get into booktubing? And I know the exact answer to this. So exactly last year, my friend Katie showed me Christine's channel, Pulling Bananas Books, um, her video of the Divergent book review. And I just, I thought she was really funny. And I was like, wait, is there a whole community that's just dedicated to talking about books? That's pretty sweet. That definitely got me into the booktube community. So thank you, Christine. I'm so glad I'm a part of this YouTubing community because it's awesome and I love talking about books and it's really fun. Question number six is, how do you react when you don't like the end of a book? When I don't like the end of a book, I'm kind of just really angry. Just for the rest of the day, I'm just mad. And I might take it out on some other people. I'm not gonna lie. I might be like throwing the book around. I just get irrationally angry at people and things and the book itself, and the story, and I just don't like looking at it. So yeah, that's what I do when I don't like the ending of a book. I just let my temper out at all the people around me. It really helps making new friends, and I definitely recommend it. Question number seven is, 
Do you ever take a little sneak peek at the end of a book? And my, my answer is kind of despicable. My answer is yes, I do. I will literally go to the end of each chapter and read the last sentence, which is not a good idea. Do not try this at home because then I get spoiled and I, I don't know, but somehow it like, it motivates me to read the book more like, oh, I gotta get to that part. I'm only three chapters away. I can make it. I don't care. It's two o'clock in the morning. I will get to that part because I'm already spoiled. And you know what? Who even cares? But yeah, just like going to the end of a book for a sneak peek to see what it is. Yes, I've definitely, definitely done that before. I did it. I'll give you some examples. I did it in Uglies. Not a good idea. Do not do it for any of the Uglies books by Scott Westerfeld. If you're planning on doing it, I did it for Uglies. I did it for Pretties. <laughs> I don't know why, because those are the two most spoilery books if you look at the last two sentences. Um, I did it for uh, City of Lost Souls, which was an awful, but I was still very like, whoa. And yeah, just don't do it. Question number eight is how many people are you going to tag? I'm going to tag all of you guys watching this. If you want to do this tag, go for it. It's super fun and it's really easy. And just, it opens up your book tubing to your audience more. So they get a little sense of how you read and how fast you talk when you're afraid your camera's gonna run out of memory. Thank you so much for watching. If you wanna follow me, I'm at Hello Haley here on Twitter and I'm at Haley Rebecca on Instagram. I'll put those down below if you forget how to spell my name because it's a little weird. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you next time, friends. Bye!